like many of us, Selena Gomez has admitted to feeling unsettled during this global pandemic and from being in quarantine. But at least she has a new multi-million dollar mansion in Encino to be excited about. You guys have been requesting a video on Selena's new home, so it's exactly what we're going to look at today, as well as her other properties. The new house is absolutely gorgeous and once upon a time used to belong to a rock legend. I'll tell you who in just a bit. Selena Gomez is known to us all as a singer, songwriter, actress, and even TV producer. At the time of this recording, she's 27 years old and has come a long way from her Disney fame. Although Selena took a little hiatus from music, her latest 2020 studio album Rare is her third number one album in a row and everyone's been enjoying it. She's also currently working on new music, but according to her Instagram, she had to create a makeshift studio in her home because of quarantine. In a recent interview, Selena admitted this isolation hasn't been all that easy for her either, saying, Like everyone else, I'm feeling unsettled and going through a variety of emotions during this time. Reading and listening to music have been a huge factor in keeping me calm. I feel very lucky I have have my grandparents staying with me and a couple of friends. I know not everyone is that lucky and people are feeling isolated and lonely. So I guess she has enough room at home for some of her loved ones to stay too. Although Selena hasn't been all that lucky with real estate ventures in the past, she's amassed a net worth of around $75 million so she can have any place she wants. Hey guys, it's Karen today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. The last time we did a house tour on Selena Gomez, it was in 2019, and a lot has changed since then, so time for an update. We'll be looking at her massive new home in Los Angeles and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post, you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Gigi Hadid and Jennifer Aniston, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. So yes, Selena has purchased a new mansion and I gotta say it goes above and beyond any of her previous houses. So I think she'll be staying put at this one. Sources say the star hasn't moved in or decorated this home just yet, but she will soon. Instead, she's spending quarantine in her Studio City property she's had up on the market for quite some time, but we'll look at that one after. <laughs> mansion is located in the heart of Encino, California, a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley area of LA. In fact, a few YouTubers call this area home, including the likes of Logan Paul and James Charles. Selena's place is adjacent to another celeb's home, Vin Diesel, so she'll have some famous neighbors. Her house sits on an acre of land off Ventura Boulevard on a quiet private street set high above the gated driveway, making it almost invisible to others around. Selena spent just shy of $5 million on it, and it's the highest selling price for this home so far. Back in 1989, the mansion has an intriguing, only in LA sort of history, including a fire, divorce, a bankruptcy, foreclosure, nightmare tenants, and even a SWAT invasion. Remember I said a rock legend used to live here? It was none other than the late Tom Petty, who's one of my idols. He and his fam moved here in the mid 80s and moved out in 1987 due to a huge house fire that erupted while they were eating breakfast. Most of the place was destroyed aside from the basement recording studio. The Petties rebuilt the canyon home in a unique style that resembles a ritzy mountain lodge mixed with the contemporary fancy estates. Whatever that is, I love the way the home looks now. It's a dream. And I'm not just saying that because Tom Petty used to live here. The home's history is a lot to go through, but just for a quick rundown, Tom's wife Jane stayed in the home post-divorce in 1996, and although she tried to sell it, she declared bankruptcy. From there, the property was stuck in legal issues for years, even being rented by a wild party host who threw illegal bashes here, and a SWAT team eventually had to get this tenant kicked out of the home. Over recent years, developers have worked wonders on expanding and renovating the home. Its best features were preserved and upgraded, while new luxury fixings were added. These days, the multi-story mansion spans 11,483 square feet inside and has 6 beds and 10 baths, as well as a number of hidden passageways and secret panic rooms. It's no wonder Selena invested in it. Looking inside Selena's new home, it has an airy and elegant vibe. There are white 
walls made cozier with the driftwood floors in most of the rooms. In the spacious open concept living areas, there are skylights and a ton of windows which let in a lot of natural sun and warmth. The double height living room offers a stone fireplace and the white bricks here were from the original design. Other common spaces that will occupy the main floor include the dining room, breakfast nook, additional dens and fancy kitchen with more original brick features and high end appliances. Not only is there a recording studio that looks perfect for Selena, there's a sunken media room from the original home which once was used as a pit for acoustic guitar players. It's been freshened up since with new wood, a large viewing screen and a wet bar. There are two master suites, one downstairs and one upstairs that are both impressive so Selena may have some trouble deciding which she wants. Each offer private balconies overlooking the yard, spacious walk-in closets, and huge spa-style bathrooms with soaking tubs. Aside from these two master bedrooms being added in the major renovation, two children or guest bedrooms with lofts and ladders were added as well. Other features of Selena's new Encino mansion include a wine cellar, home gym, massage room, and second indoor kitchen. Not to mention the gorgeous upstairs yoga studio, which is definitely one of my favorite rooms. Outside there's a full outdoor kitchen beside a covered lodge with space for entertaining. More stone terrace line the yard, perfect for tanning and hanging out. There is also a tree shaded pool and spa and an additional covered table and fancy shed. Mansion is gorgeous, reports say Selena is spending her quarantine at her other home and hasn't moved into the new one just yet. Her current place has actually been on and off the market for a few years now, listed at just over 2.7 million, but no buyers yet. The East Coast inspired bungalow is actually more on the modest side for a celebrity home and located in Studio City, California, an LA neighborhood located in the Southeast San Fernando Valley. Selena bought the home back in 2017 for about 2.2 million and has since flipped it and lived there on and off. Her studio City home stands 3,188 square feet and has three beds, 2.5 baths, plus a detached guest house with another bathroom. The formal sitting room here has newly installed hardwood floors, a brick fireplace, and huge skylight that warms up the place. An open plan living area near the back of the one level home features polished brick floors under a vaulted ceiling and more skylights. The space allows for a family room with built in sound system and marble wet bar, dining room that opens up to the backyard, and kitchen with state of the art appliances. Selena's master suite here has a ton of space, a large bay window looking into the yard, two walk-in closets and a large marble ensuite bathroom. Other features of her home include spacious guest rooms and one bedroom she converted into a small gym. Outside her kitchen and laundry room, there's a bricked patio with built-in grilling area. There's a grassy lawn and her backyard is made completely private thanks to super tall hedges. Not to mention she has a flagstone trim swimming pool and spa. The detached structure near the pool was originally a two-car garage but has since been remodeled and furnished to be the guest house or media lounge with vaulted ceiling, built-in entertainment unit and a bathroom. Privacy was a big concern for Selena as it would be for any celeb and even though we can see there's a gate around the house, the extra tall hedges look like they're what really keep the paparazzi and unwanted visitors away. We also know that Selena created her own mini recording studio during isolation at this home, so she's making do until she moves into the mansion. All right, so that's all I know about Selena Gomez's new mansion in Sino, and I gotta say the place is gorgeous. We'll have to see when she gets around to moving in here, but I'm sure it'll be soon. From the listing photos, it already looks great, so I don't think she'll have to make many changes, if any. Just bring her furniture and belongings over. What did you guys think about the house? Honestly, it's one of my favorite celebrity homes I've seen. I just love the design inside and out and despite its massive size it manages to look welcoming. I think my favorite rooms were the master suite with the wooden ceiling and that upstairs yoga studio but it's hard to choose. What about you guys? Selena has had more real estate ventures in the past and is known for moving around. There was her Texas mansion and other LA properties too but if you're curious about those you can check out our Selena house tour from last year. She hasn't had a lot of luck in reselling and flipping her multi-million dollar homes and has actually sold most at a loss. Hopefully this this mega mansion in Sino is a new beginning and somewhere she'll actually stay and call home instead of putting it on the market. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about Selena's homes, especially the new place and if you like it or not. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!